Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, my name is uh, Rebecca, and I love talking about travel and lifestyle. Today in the UK, um, it has been sunny, and um, it today, and it's not been too cold, which is really good because this time of year. Um, in the UK, uh, the weather could be a lot worse, <laughs> trust me. Um, today I'm going to be doing a budget travel, five exciting facts, November 2021 part two. Uh, so I'm going to jump right into it and I'm getting the information uh, from www.wearemolly.com. So number one um, is choose your destination carefully. Uh, some places are naturally more expensive and cheaper uh, than others and obviously where you also call home. So it's, it really depends where you're travelling to. Um, obviously if you're going to countries say like France, Germany, um, Italy, uh, they um, in Europe are going to be a lot more expensive um, than, uh, than say Spain, um, Slovakia, Romania, Poland, Bulgaria, anywhere like that or, e or even Turkey for that matter and um, Also, um, my uh, also the first tip for travelling on a budget is to research places that um, are good for travelling on a, bu a budget. Uh, maybe somewhere uh, that's cheap and, and easy to get to. So, um, Um, say if you can fly for uh, from your nearest local airport say like um, if you lived in uh, where I live northwest Leicestershire East Midlands is the nearest airport and obviously for taxi reasons um, if you can travel to your nearest airport um, or say your nearest rail st uh, station, um, which would be Loughborough, um, or um, obviously if it's not f uh, so far to travel uh, to by car, um, even though um, uh, with with you, you live in in the middle of England um, to get to the beach. Um, well, it doesn't matter whether you go east or west or north or south, it's um, still a long way but um, if you live somewhere where it's say only an hour's a drive to the beach, um, let's say like uh, you lived in uh, say Northampshire um, somewhere like Basingstoke or Aldershot uh, and you want to um, go on a holiday to South Sea then obviously it's a, a, not much tra uh, travelling uh, to uh, get to the sea um, and whether you're travelling by car or maybe say train or uh, coach or whatever and um, it's not that much of a long journey um, or you might be able to make connections with bus routes um, so that's that's just an example um, and again it could it could be again cheaper for, uh, for you as well um, than having to uh, travel somewhere else for in, uh, for instance um 
unless you're probably um going out in the countryside um and then you were at, um you could be again paying for the scenery um ar around and um it's it really ju it just depends on what type of accommodation you're looking to choose um for your budget um and obviously if you're traveling abroad away from the uk um somewhere where the currency uh, you can get good value for uh, for money um, so it, uh, for instance um that has a, a really good exchange rate um and and that would also lower your cost um also uh, from living from home so going to countries um especially where um if you're going on a self-catering option um and um, looking for like apartments bungalows um etc um camping um i get again it could um, if you look uh, for places that say food is cheaper than your own country to buy um, then um, you can get mo most of, the, of your food obviously cheaper out there and obviously it saves you having to bring so much um, from home uh, creating more sp space uh, for what you need uh, like clothes etc um, number two avoid tourist traps big cities and tourist hotspots are often a lot more expensive um, than straying off the beaten track uh, try to choose um, less well-known destinations if you can check out uh, the link on um, at hidden gems of Europe um, on the website plus you um, at that you must visit even within at your destination avoid restaurants on the main strip and try at something down a say a sidewalk or a street um, and not say on a seafront um, at the food it will probably be better and also you're getting better value for money when it when it's uh, cheaper also and um, number three travel uh, travel insurance perhaps uh, the most important tip for traveling on a budget is not obviously to skip on travel insurance um the extra expense um you will thank yourself for um for sorting it out it can be a headache i know uh, but if you sort it out um your trip if it gets cancelled or uh, god forbid and you get ill on on holiday then again you could um could be covered um and again um if you're going to say ski destinations um obviously make sure your equipment um is uh, covered um in your policy and number four travel off season i've said this loads of times um like i've I've said quite a few things today loads of times in other video um, because it is re it really is cheaper if you're able to uh, travel off season and avoid uh, weekends um, and also avoid um, high season which is like um, between uh, June to, uh, to August time and try and uh, travel out of season if possible um, um number five a book in advance um 
there's more availability also if you book in advance um, than last minute so I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow and thank you and bye for now thank you bye